What's going on everyone? We're here at SEMA and I'm at the Deechworks booth with my friend Mike and we're talking about something pretty cool. Uh, brushless fuel pumps. That's right. And you guys have a couple different models, but I want to talk about the one that's in your display right here. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're uh, excited in order to bring brushless technology to SEMA this year. Historically, it's been larger pumps, larger footprints needed to be mounted externally, and we're bringing brushless into the fuel tank. So that is our 425 liter per hour brushless in-tank fuel pump. It's a joint project between us and Bosch, uh, taking their latest OE technology into the aftermarket for high performance. Mike, what are the differences between a brushed and a brushless setup like this? So your traditional brush pump, which are great pumps, uh, are technically wear items. The uh, brushes are always in contact with the commutator, so sort of like a brake pads and rotors, those brushes wear down over time. With a brushless fuel pump, all that is different. There are no wear items inside the fuel pump, the fuel is not coming in contact with that, and so you essentially go from something that's a wear item to something that has no, wear, uh, no wearable internal moving parts. The big difference is um, our industry talks a lot about E85 compatibility, uh, which is important with fuel pumps. Uh, we're, with a brushless fuel pump, you go, from e uh, you go from E85 compatibility to E85 proof. You can run uh, any fuel through a methanol, Q16, uh, uh, water. We're running uh, water through our brushless pumps all week long here at SEMA, um, and they don't miss a beat. That sounds a little bit complicated because ethanol can tear some stuff up. Uh, we're trying to make brushless as easy as possible. Um, so the difference between a brush pump and a brushless pump, a brushless pump will need a controller, and that can intimidate a lot of end users, but we've taken the complication out of it. We've got a very simple controller that's integrated in, um, into the connector, so it's compact fitment, and uh, the controller will come pre-programmed so you can wire it just like a regular pump. We will have end user definability to program it in the future, but uh, for those who just want to plug and play, it'll be super easy to use a brushless pump. And what different models, different flow between the models of brushless pump you have? We have the ability to do a 425 liter per hour, so that's our big bad boy, uh, but we could also do a 340 liter per hour or 265 liter per hour. And what kind of horsepower will that 425 brushless support? You know, the horsepower question is always one of those ones. It all depends, fuel type, what pressure you're running, things like that. But uh, that size of pump could take you anywhere from six, 700 horsepower on a boosted uh, E85 application all the way to 1,000 horsepower on an NA gas application. A uh, brushless pump with the lack of friction, you can see up to 15% more efficiency, which is going to uh, lower the heat, lower the amperage draw, and make it all around a more efficient product. Mike, thank you so much for giving us a rundown on your brushless fuel pumps. If anybody wants to find out more information and buy one of these for themselves, where can they go? Uh, Deechworks.com or any of our social media pages. Keeping it simple, Mike, thanks again, and make sure to stay tuned to Power Auto Media for more SEMA updates.